Eric Burgess here, and we've been asked to give the exact value of cosecant of 30 degrees. So cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so we could figure out one over sine of 30 degrees a whole lot easier because sine is uh, easily defined. So what we could do is we could draw a triangle, and we know that this triangle has a 30 degree angle. If we're gonna use trig functions, we also know that it has to be a right triangle, that means that the last angle has to be 60 degrees. This is a special triangle where we have a one, two, three triangle or a one square root of three and two. And this is one of the triangles that you're expected to know uh, for this section. So using our special triangle, we can go ahead and evaluate this. So sine of 30 degrees is just the sine of this angle here. And that's opposite over hypotenuse, or 1 half. Now, that's sine of 30 degrees, but we have 1 over sine of 30 degrees. So that's over 1, which means we have to multiply by the reciprocal to the top and the bottom, because this is a form of 1, right? This is like a giant 1, which is OK. If we multiply something by 1, we don't change it. The bottom simplifies out to 1, and the top simplifies to 2. So the answer for a sine of 30 degrees is two. And we could check this answer using, or the answer for cosecant of 30 degrees is two. And we could check this answer using a calculator. So we don't have a cosecant function, but we could type a reciprocal function, one over sine of 30, and it will be the same thing. Also make sure your calculator is in degree mode before you do this. And we also get two here. So that's one way to evaluate cosecant of 30. Just be aware of your special triangle. And using that, you can easily arrive at the answer. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And we'll catch you in the next problem.